Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this diode based circuit and here we have been asked to find this current I and the voltage V for the given circuit. So as you can see over here, in this circuit, these two diodes D1 and D2 are connected in the parallel connection. So here, this diode D1 is the ideal germanium diode while the D2 is the silicon diode. And for the silicon diode, the cut-in voltage or the forward voltage drop is 0.7 volt while the forward resistance is equal to 20 ohm and here we have been also given that for this diode d2 its reverse saturation current is equal to 10 nanoampere so here we have been asked to find this current i and the voltage v across this diode so here as you can see this diode d1 and d2 are connected in the parallel connection and here if we see the voltage at the anode of these two diodes then that is equal to 6 volt. While if we see the cathode, then through the 100 ohm resistor, it is connected to the common node. So we can say that the voltage at the anode of the both diode is equal to 6 volt, while the voltage at the cathode of the diode is equal to 0 volt. So here, since the anode voltage is greater than cathode voltage, so both the diodes should conduct. But we know that when the two diodes are connected in the parallel connection, then the diode which has a lower cut-in voltage will get turned on first. So in this case, since the D1 is the ideal germanium diode, so it will become on first. And as soon as it gets turned on, then it will act as a short circuit. So now if you see, then the voltage across this D2 diode is equal to 0 volt. And because of that, this diode D2 will remain in the off condition. That means in this circuit, this D1 diode will get turned on while well, the D2 diode will remain off. And here, since the D1 is the ideal germanium diode, so it will have a zero forward resistance in the forward bias condition. So now, in this condition, if you see, then the voltage across the diode, or this V is equal to zero. And if you see the current I, then this current I is equal to six volt divided by 100 ohm. That is equal to 60 milliampere. So we can say that for the given circuit, this V is equal to 0 volt when the current I is equal to 60 milliampere. And from this we can say that for the given question, this A is the correct answer.